Hi, I'm Dr. George Parada, medical advisor for the National Pest Management Association. And today I'd like to talk about wildlife, or more specifically, nuisance wildlife. Animals like raccoons and opossums may look cute from afar, but when they come into our homes or yards, they are classified as nuisance wildlife because they can pose serious health risks to humans. Housing developments and new construction can infringe upon wildlife's natural habitats and food sources. As a result, wildlife populations have been increasing in and around suburban and even urban areas as they seek food and refuge within homes. In some cases, animals are losing their natural fear of people. One of the primary health concerns associated with nuisance wildlife is rabies which can be spread by skunks, raccoons, bats, opossums, and other mammals. According to the Center for Disease Control, as many as 40,000 Americans are exposed to rabies each year. The rabies virus infects the central nervous system, ultimately causing disease in the brain and death. Because it is such a fast-moving disease, it is vital to seek medical attention immediately if you've been bitten or scratched by an infected animal. The early symptoms of rabies in people are similar to that of many other illnesses, including fever, headache, general weakness, or discomfort. As the disease progresses, more specific symptoms appear and may include anxiety, hallucinations, increase in saliva, partial paralysis, and fear of water. Death usually occurs within days of the onset of these symptoms. If you are bitten by an animal, seek medical attention promptly. If the animal is known to have rabies, you'll be given a series of shots to prevent the virus from infecting you. If the animal that bit you cannot be found, a doctor may decide to give you the shots to be safe. Generally, a fast-acting shot is given as soon as possible after the bite, typically near the area where the animal bit you. Then, a series of rabies vaccines will be administered to help your body fight the virus. These generally occur as four injections over 14 days. Unfortunately, once rabies infects a person, there is no specific treatment and cases are typically fatal, making the rabies vaccines all the more critical. Most importantly, if you see wildlife on your property or in your home, do not approach it or try to remove it on your own. Contact a trained wildlife management company who can safely remove the animals. Thank you for watching this episode of Health Checks about nuisance wildlife and the threat of rabies. That's all the time we have for today. To learn more about nuisance wildlife, visit the National Pest Management Association's website, pestworld.org.